What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Hooterville75 with Midnight the Ferocious Sissy bringing you another video from the open air model shop. And in today's video, what you are looking at is a marble. Either a marble or a glass ball, whatever you want to call it. Now, Ramblers 69. Tom has recently made himself look like a smurf by collecting his marbles. Now, this I believe has gone on to become a trend as we've all lost a few marbles or two along the way. But I had to get in on the trend because I needed to collect some marbles and I have a lot to be collected. So I went through. And cut the aerosol cans open to collect my marbles back. So here is a little collection of what I've got so far. I have a bunch more to cut open, but this is just what I got so far. This is a nice little blue marble from an older Rust-Oleum primer can. Now, the Rust-Oleum primer can of the day switched their marbles. As you can see, the days are like a greenish light blue, and this is like a baby blue. My personal favorite, and the reason being is, you get two marbles in one can, are these pretty little light blue marbles that come from the Tamiya Surface Primer cans. So, they were pretty cool too. This one's pretty wicked as it's like a little tie-dye blue different colors of blue in it little swirls and little tie-dye and this came from a brand called XO Rust primer and paint all-in-one and I believe this is a Surefine product as I've I got it at Surefine so anybody that's into blue marbles or the blue balls, not I, but you can get these in the XO primer and rust or XO rust primer and paint all in one cans. This came out of a painter's touch can. So this one and the little light green one kind of resemble each other. This came out of the Painter's Touch, and this came out of the cheap 99 cent cans from Walmart, the black, flat white, and gray primer. So, there's two more. And then last but not least, my favorite is this bright green baby. This came out of the famous Doc Cranky's favorite primer of choice, Plastico. So, anybody that's looking to collect your marbles back, I have received and maintained some of my marbles. So, I'd like to see everybody else get involved in this. Collect some of your marbles back. Show us what you got and what it came from. So, I am actually going to put all these marbles to use and put them in my paint pots to help agitate the paint at the bottom of the, bottom of the jar when you give it a good shake. So... That's it for now. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Tom, Papa Dan, Kenny from Mindless Model Works. It's all in good fun. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. And one last thing before I go. It's amazing when you think a can of paint, aerosol can of paint is all. It's amazing when you cut it open, the amount of paint you can retrieve from that yet. I, I was just, I took a bath. I almost became Papa Smurf with an old Rust-Oleum can. Or not Rust-Oleum can, but an old, uh, I think it was Painter's Touch. An old Painter's Touch can of blue. Psh, went everywhere. I mean, there was like, there was like that much left in the bottom of that thing. So, alright, like to thank everybody for tuning in. Please rate, comment if you're new to the channel and stumbled across this video by accident. Please surf through my archives if you're into modeling. I have a lot of old modeling videos. 
click the subscribe button. If you like what you're seeing, as Jan Harris says, click share. The more people that see this video, the better chance of subscribers you have. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch everybody on the flip side. Till then, for now, Suterville 75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy coming to you from the open air model shop. Bye now.